recording. Kia ora, tila falava, malele, mbula, aloha, and welcome to Season 11, Episode 24 of Breakfast Bites by tevovodigital.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports News on Monday morning, 28 October 2024. Happy birthday, Mary Vasu. Coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent, where it is 22 degrees Celsius at 5 a.m. this morning. In netball, Australian netball great Nat Medhurst has delivered some brutal truths to the shell shock diamonds after the world champions coughed up the Constellation Cup to the Silver Ferns for just the third time in history, 63 41 in Perth yesterday. In Rugby League, the Kangaroos prevailed in Christchurch with a 22-10 win over the Kiwis in the Pacific Championship. For Australia, hooker Harry Grant led the way and uh, constantly schemed from behind the ruck, being supported by a host of big-name stars. Meanwhile, for New Zealand, veteran Sean Johnson showed he still got it two months after he played his final NRL game. Meanwhile, the Cook Islands, I too, are on their way to Port Mosby as a sacrifice to the Papua New Guinea Kumuls in the Pacific Bowl. And in case you're wondering where the Samoans are, they lost to England in the UK early this morning, 34-18. In football, Lionel Messi's postseason debut is putting MLS in the spotlight when Inter Miami hosts uh, Atlanta United in the first round of the MLS Cup playoffs. The game will be free to stream on Apple TV as part of a push to gain more viewers in the second season of a 10-year US $2.5 billion deal with MLS. Apple doesn't release its uh, TV ratings, but it reportedly surpassed 2 million subscribers for MLS last season. Atlanta United will host Inter Miami in Game 2 next weekend. In September, nearly 68,000 fans turned out to Mercedes-Benz Stadium to watch Messi play there. The MLS's total regular season attendance tally was 11.4 million, up from 10.9 million in 2023, a new record of 23,234 per game average. In UFC, Ilya Topuria said he would knock Max Holloway out for the first time in his career, and that is exactly what happened in UFC 308 in Abu Dhabi yesterday. The UFC featherweight king proved that he's the real deal, dropping Holloway with a brutal right hand and then getting the job done with a left hook. In the main co-event of UFC 308, undefeated Russian Kazmat Shimeev forced Australian Robert Whittaker to tap out in one of the most violent submissions ever seen. In the MLB World Series, Yoshinobu Yamamoto and merged from uh, Shohei Otani's large shadow yesterday to give the Los Angeles Dodgers a commanding lead in the World Series. Uh, in just his first MLB season, Yamamoto gave up one hit into the seventh innings, while uh, Tiosca Hernandez and Freddie Freeman hit back to back home runs. For the Dodgers, 4-2 win over the New York Yankees to take a 2-0 World Series lead. It's showtime, sports fans. And that's a wrap. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo and kakite for tableoverdigital.com. I'm Calden Khmer, thanking you all too much for all your love and support.